Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2025.1c on VirtualBox. Okay, first go to Kali Linux official website and download Kali.org. Then click on download. See here we have the two types of downloads. Installer images are virtual machines. Okay, so I am going with installer images. See here the latest release at the time of making this video is Kali Linux 2025.1c but if you want older versions you have to click on this Kali Linux releases okay there you will find all older versions so first click on it see it is released on 28th April 2025 it is same as 25 2025.1 but with a new version of the Kali archive keyring that contains new automatic archive signing key okay so just click on get Kali then click on installer images then download see here we have the different types of downloads direct download or torrent download I am going with the direct download it is up to you click on download button once we click on download started go to download see here its size is 4.1 gigabytes I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded in your case wait until download completes see here I have already downloaded Kali Linux 2025.1c ISO image. Once the download is completed, then open VirtualBox. If you want to install VirtualBox on your machine, then there is a link in the video description or search for my YouTube channel. How to install VirtualBox on Windows or Linux operating systems. Okay, open VirtualBox. See, these are the virtual machines available on VirtualBox. If you want to create new one, click on new or machine and select new. Either is same. Click on new, then provide the name for the virtual box. I'm giving Kali 2025. Once this is the virtual machine name, then we have to select the path to store this virtual machine files and folders. Click on drop down, select other, then go to downloads, then then select the path where you have the NF space. Then select the downloaded ISO image. Click on drop down, then select other. Then go to downloads where you have the Kali Linux 2025.1c ISO image. Select it and click on open. See, once we select it, type change it to Linux, subtype to Ubuntu, but select the Debian. Then select the Debian 64 bit. I will show you later why I asked you to select this Debian. Okay, then come to hardware. Here by default memory selected as 2 gigabytes. I am giving 4 gigabytes. Number of CPU equals to then hard disk. I am giving 50 gigabytes. Then if you are okay with all the settings, then click on finish. Still, if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, right click and select settings or go to machine and select settings or just click on this settings. All three options are same to edit them settings of this virtual machine okay if you are okay with all the settings then click on start to install the Kali Linux 2025.1c on virtual box click on it use up and down arrows and select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter select the language and click on continue Select your location and see here the selected location will be used to set the time zone all time zone and also for example to select the system locally. Okay, so select your region from this list. If your region is not listed, then select other. Okay, so select your region or location and click on continue. Select keyboard model. I am going with American English, then click on next. Now we have to provide the host name or computer name. Later also we can change this. I'm giving Kali. See, I have given this one, but later also we can change this one. Then click on continue. Then we have to provide the domain name. I don't have any domain, so I'm going to keep it as blank and continue. Now we have to create our setup user. So I am giving user full name as Arthur Scores. 
see this is just user full name not the actual username click on continue see here this is the actual username okay i'm okay with the same can continue now we have to set the password for this user click on continue now see here it populated the time zones related to the united states because i have selected location as united states that's why it is populated these time zones then click on i am going with eastern so click on continue then partition disks i am going with guided use entire disk but if you want to configure manually or with lvm you can select them and you can configure it is up to you click on continue continue all all files in what partition then click on continue this is just confirmation select the finished partition and write changes to this can continue select this is just confirmation again select yes and continue see now it is installing base system now software selection see here by default it has selected desktop environment xfce okay it xfce is the kali linux default desktop environment but if you want gnome or kde plasma you can select this and these remaining see here collection of tools okay and top 10 most popular tools default and recommended tools so i want to install both all but optionally if you want to select this gnome but if you want to select gnome or kde plasma you can select this by clicking on the check box it is up to you i am going with the defaults that is xfc so click on continue see installation has been started this will take time i am skipping this part see now install the grub bootloader and see here install the grub bootloader to your primary drive so select yes and click on continue select the device and continue see installation is complete so it is boot it is time to boot into your new system make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into the new system rather than the rather than restarting installation so then after after removing the installation medium we have to hit enter to reboot so go to virtual box see here select the virtual box from the list and see here the secondary device optical drive is empty if it is not empty click on it then click on remove the disk from the virtual drive so here no need to remove because it is already removed go to virtual machine then click on continue to reboot now provide the username that we have created and password then click on login or hit enter now try to maximize it let us see you got the full screen okay now open terminal let me increase the font preference file preferences change the font size Click on OK. Click on Apply. See, font size has been increased. Let me increase the terminal size. Now, if the version that we have shall more slash etc os hyphen release. See, we have installed twenty twenty five dot one. And see here, its ID is like Debian. That's why at the time of actual machine creation, I asked you to select the Debian. Okay. the first step after connecting to kali linux 2025.1c is we have to update the package sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade hit enter provide the password of sudo user hit enter type if error confirmation and hit enter see it is updating okay so click on application menu see here we have the different applications see we have different sections Information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web applications, etc. is there. Okay, or you can directly search like Nmap. See here we have the different Nmap. 
publication okay bow suit see we have the bow suit the same way white shark see here we have the white shark publication okay so this will take time so in this video we have seen how to download and install kali linux 2025.1c on actual box okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you